Estaba paralizada. Toda paralizada. Santa Lisa, aleluya. The power got to him. Look, he could walk. He's healed by the power of God. He walks by himself. Say out loud, Lord Jesus. I believe you are the Son of God. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my For I have touched on of his garment. And his blood hath made me whole. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my, my soul. For I have touched the hem of his garment, and his blood hath made me. Pastor, this lady is in a wheelchair tonight. She's telling me she's unable to move. She's unable to move her legs. She has a rare disease. She came out of the wheelchair running. The pain is all gone, completely gone. She's been in three hospitals, she said. There's a wheelchair. She came out of it pain-free. What was wrong? What was wrong with you? There's an autoimmune disease called polymyositis where my antibodies are eating on my, my body's eating on itself. So it's eating up the, my muscle cells. Your body's eating up itself? Yes. That's what it's called. It's a rare muscle disease. Uh, one out of five million people get it. And I just thank God for healing me. I knew he was going to do it. You were in a wheelchair? In a wheelchair. I was still able to stand a little, and, but not like I'm doing and not walking and going up the stairs. Like go. Walk and go down the stairs. I want to see you. Lady, go down the stairs. Look at that. Look at that, people of God. Look at that. Come on around. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Come on. We are standing. I want you to give the Lord a big hand of praise. Say, this is marvelous. Your witness, I give you praise that there are and oh that, that that's glory all around. Take your seats, please. Let us praise. Take your seats, choir. Oh, God is good. Oh, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, in front of the whole world. I love you, I trust you, and I need you so much in my life. Thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you Jesus. Lady, you go rejoicing, thank him for his goodness. He's great. Come on, give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Pastor, I want you to see this. Run, dear lady. You're looking at a lady who has 10 different diseases that God just healed her of tonight. Every ounce of pain has gone out of her body. 10 different diseases. What are they? Rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis. She has had major problems with her back, major problems with her knees. On and on the list goes. But tonight the power of God came upon her. She can go up and down. She walked up the steps and said. Was she in a, in a, in a wheelchair or she not? She was in a wheelchair, came in a wheelchair. She was walking up the steps shouting, no cane. I don't have to have a cane to walk up the steps. How I'm long, healed in Jesus' How long name. have you had the problem? I've had arthritis for 15 years. I've had a check, check your body. Check it. Do, 
like, great. So, I can do that. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus. Somebody say praise the Lord. Henry, pastor, this is beautiful. In 1986, she broke her back. She just told me how she used to walk. You got to see this. Just show them how you used to walk. She'd walk just like that. She couldn't lift up her arm. And tonight, for the first time, she can walk. Her legs are healed. Her back is healed. She can lift up her right arm. She was unable to lift it. She's so excited. This is beautiful. In the presence. Jesus, we give you praise, Jesus. I can feel that mighty power. Jesus be the praise lady. Now what was your disease again? I broke my back in 1986. I was in a coma for three weeks, in bed for five months, a wheelchair for three years, and in so much pain. It wasn't until tonight when you said raise your hand that was the first time I've ever been able to raise my arm that it went up. It would only like go so far. This is such a miracle. I am so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You go praising the Lord, lady. Give her a big God bless you. Jesus. Jesus, I adore. Pastor, this dear lady, December the 27th of last year, fell, had a terrible accident and fell. They're from Holland. They become... Seven uh, uh, spine injuries, seven. Seven of her vertebrae yes. were and broke two or cracked. Are cracked, totally cracked. I could... What happened tonight? Oh, this is a miracle. I can't stand. No, I can't. She I, came I in really a wheelchair. Mean when her husband got this her out of the, the bed, truth. she would scream with pain. This is the truth. Really the she truth. I don't make anything up. It's true. I could not walk. No, I do. So believe it. <laughs> yeah. Now, you, you, one more time. What was wrong with you? You tell me. I fell. The whole back collapsed. And then I cracked two of my ribs. And five are just... You, you, you cracked what? My T11 and T12. Vertebrae. Yes. And down, I damaged S1, L2, 3, 4, 5. And you were in pain. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. I was on heavy uh, dope. Heavy medication. How long? Since, Since the fall. Since? Since December the 27th. Since December. And now tonight, what happened tonight? Oh, I couldn't believe it. Because, yes, I came out of my wheelchair because the gentleman helped me. And I just, you know, stood there. And I, he did this and I went back on my chair. But then I said, I can't do it. And I got up and I just, perfect. Jesus. Can you go down the stairs? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. Somebody help her. She, oh, she doesn't need your help. She, she, she doesn't want it. She doesn't want your help. Come on back. Come on. Wow. Lift your hands and ask him for a double portion. It's true, really the truth. If you think this is com comedy, no way. This is true. You tell him, you tell him. People believe me. I was in bad shape. A lot of pain, could not get up. My husband had to pull me out of the chair, screaming like heck. And now I can do everything. So this is a real, real miracle. Honestly. Pastor, there's a powerful anointing in Southern California. The anointing of God is so strong. As you began to worship, 
I went back and Pastor David can talk about it as well. This man looked terrible. He absolutely looked terrible. David, come here. His face was filled with pain. His face, there was no real color. Reason why? Eight and a half years, and this is his daughter. Eight and a half years, he suffered with degenerative disc, multiple sclerosis. Dear Lord. Oste osteoporosis. Tonight, my Go ahead. I saw the power of God come on this man. Look, bend down, my brother. Do that with me. Do that with me. No pain. Do it again. Come on, do it again. No pain. No pain. Do it again. No pain. Run, my brother. Shout and praise and magnify God. That's God's healing power, Pastor. That's what God is doing in Southern California. And, and, and David, come here now. You saw the man back there. Sir, he looks so different right now. It was awesome. He's bright. He's alive. He's, That's his daughter there. He's, uh, he's in big, I mean, just the, the light over him is just powerful. Jesus. Jesus, I give you praise. This is, this is amazing. His daughter, Pastor, she's been crying and rejoicing because he walked up the steps without a cane. Can you imagine watching your father for eight and a half years deteriorate before your very eyes? Stand, oh my, my God, sorry. Stand, stand back there and suffer. And then when you begin to worship, the power of God come upon this man. And he walks away from his wheelchair and walks away from his cane, magnifying God. Look, look at the daughter, look at the daughter. He's been, has multiple sclerosis for eight years, and of course, doctors don't have a cure yet for him, and I know that the Lord is the only one that can heal him, and he did, and my dad always watches, this is your day, and there's that lady in the introduction that says, you know, it's easier, it's just as easy to be um, saved as it is to be healed, and he came in the other day, and he said that to me, and he said, let's go to Anaheim, and now he's healed. I sing praises to your name. Dear God, I feel such a heavy anointing here. Pick him up. Pick him up. Guys, you know, you just. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see these these young men, they stand behind there and they they need this. I, I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise. Wow, you say. <laughs> yeah. What did you just feel? Power. That's the power all right. Somebody lift your hand and say, praise the Lord. I just want to praise you. Talk to me. 12 years. Back to us. She's unable to straighten out her back. This is her daughter. Wait, this wait, is wait. the way she used to walk. Now she's all here. She said she can literally stand up straight. <laughs> lady, 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 lady. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Show me the way you used to walk. Like this. Like that. Like Benny, for, for how long? I didn't have back pain for 12 years before my grandbaby was born. 12 years. So for 12 years you've had trouble? No, the last two years I've been... Oh, two years. But 12 years I had trouble. But for two years I couldn't stand up straight. I for two years you couldn't stand up straight? I couldn't stand up straight. Look at her now. Look, she can bend. She can bend back. <laughs> oh, oh, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, dear Jesus. That's her daughter that's excited. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus. Pick her up so I can talk to her. This is amazing. Your mama could not straighten up for two years. For two years, she walked bent over. She couldn't stand up straight. My youngest son, she's never been able to pick up unless she was sitting down. And today, she picked him up and threw him up in the air, and she ain't never been able to do that. And he weighed about 40 pounds. <laughs> See how the Lord says, so, Jesus is so good. Lift your hands and say, thank you, Master. Holy Spirit, lift your hands to heaven, come on. 
You are welcome, 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 welcome. Join hands, join hands quickly. Omnipotent Father, you are merciful and gracious, Lord. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. Fire on you, fire! Fire on you, in Jesus' name. In this place, Holy Spirit, my God. You are welcome in this place. Holy Ghost. That's what we want, Lord. We want the anointing. We want the fire, the water. You are welcome in this place. Fill the house with it, Danny. Omnipotent Father, Father. Have mercy and grace. Alba, Kora, Peg. Thanks, Father. You are welcome. 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 Oh. In this place. Whoa. Come on, lift it. Holy Spirit. Get down here, Johnny. Get down here. You are welcome in this place. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks. You are welcome. Bring Sakia. Bring, bring, bring Nora. Fire on you, my brother. Omnipotent. Dear God, there's glory here. Bring him here. Fire on your mouth. Alba Cora Pepe Lefe. Oh, for in your presence. Dear God, there's glory here. There's healing. Join hands right here. Quick, 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 quick. John Hens, take it in Jesus' mighty name. Expect your miracle from the Lord. Now listen to me for the next few moments because tonight is your night. Now lift your hands and say, this is really my night. <laughs> tonight is my night for a miracle. <laughs> now remember this, determined faith receives. Only faith there is persistent faith, determined faith, receives from the Lord. Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses, Matthew 8 declares. Himself. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. Himself took our diseases. Himself took our pain and misery and sickness. Ladies and gentlemen, the name of Jesus not only saves, but the name of Jesus also heals. The word of the Lord declares it listen to his word be it known unto you all 
and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you hold. Stands before you hold. Acts chapter 4 verse 10 says that through the name of Jesus, healings took place. And then we read in verse 12, neither is there salvation in any other, in any other, for there is none other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. His name heals, his name saves. Now tonight, I want to repeat something I've said hundreds of times possibly. It's as easy to be healed as it is to be saved. That's a fact. Because it's by faith. Many of you tonight have come expecting a physical touch from heaven. How do you receive it? The scripture says, a man was sitting in a synagogue A withered hand and a withered arm Jesus said stand in the midst and commanded the man stretch it Jesus did not come and pull his arm he said you stretch it you do something about your healing God will heal you with your cooperation Nothing is impossible with God. It doesn't say nothing is impossible to God. Because if it's nothing impossible to God, it means he'll do it by himself. But when the scripture says nothing is impossible with God, he needs somebody to work with. The Bible does not say nothing is impossible to God. Because if it's to God, He doesn't need you. But nothing is impossible with God because He needs cooperation with men. God will not do it without you. And you cannot do it without Him. Jesus came and said to the sick, Get up. Stretch it. Rise up and walk. Every miracle, there was a command. The people had to reach out and touch him. As many as touched him were made whole. There were some who did not touch him. But those that touched him were made whole. As many as touched him, as many hands as touched him, all were healed. An act of faith, vitally important in the scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, I wait for the anointing to come upon me. And when the anointing comes upon me, every cell in my body comes alive. My whole body literally becomes wrapped in a mantle of glory. That anointing rushes through this room as it will tonight. And you that are sick in body, don't just stand there hoping an angel will help you. You've got to step out of your diseases. Step out of your sickness. Say no more to disease. No more to pain. No more to misery. I'm coming, Jesus. I'm coming. And he'll heal you. It's a step of faith. It's a prayer of faith. The prayer of faith saves the sick. What is the prayer of faith? Lord God, you said it. I believe it. Now I get it. I believe your word. Do you believe Jesus died for your healing? Yes. Then it's yours. It's yours. It's just that simple. I believe the day will come. Every sick body will be healed. But I believe also the people of God must come to that place of faith 
where your faith must reach that place like it did 2,000 years ago with many who said just speak the word Lord who said if I only touch the hem of his garment I know I'll be healed determined faith so strong that will cause Bartimaeus to cry have mercy have mercy have mercy when the crowd said be quiet be quiet be quiet he said no I won't be quiet why should I be quiet when Jesus is passing by don't tell me to be quiet my miracle is on the way and there is such an awesome truth in that story in one gospel Jesus is walking through uh, uh, he's walking into Jericho in another gospel he's walking out of Jericho one man said oh there's a mistake in the Bible because one gospel says Jesus is walking into Jericho and Bartimaeus is crying have mercy have mercy another gospel writer says he's walking out of Jericho so there's a mistake in the Bible and that man left the faith over that one scripture it's not a mistake my brother it's a very simple fact and the fact is one gospel writer said Bartimaeus was crying have mercy when Jesus was walking in another gospel writer was saying Jesus that Bartimaeus was crying Jesus have mercy when Jesus was walking out it's all really one story because the truth is Bartimaeus cried Jesus have mercy from the time Jesus walked in to the time Jesus walked out why Bartimaeus knew Jesus is in town and I want to cry till I get my miracle. Think about a man sitting at the gate crying, Jesus and mercy, Jesus and mercy, Jesus and mercy. The whole time Jesus was in Jericho and he would not let him leave Jericho without receiving a miracle. Jesus so wanted to heal the sick his nature is a healing nature ladies and gentlemen the scripture says he healed everywhere everywhere he would go miracles happened every place he would go healing was just literally spilling out of his being so much so that everywhere he would go they would simply touch him and be healed they'd be near him and be healed every place and the jews knew so well that jesus would not leave one sick man alone not one sick man not one sick man was left if Jesus was there and Jesus saw him Jesus healed him I love this about the Lord he never left anybody sick after he saw them and the Word of God says the Word of God says he so healed that he healed on the Sabbath enraging the Pharisees he went to the synagogues and every time he's in a synagogue some sick man would show up and a sick person or a sick woman who was bent over and they watched him they said will he heal on the Sabbath will he dare to heal on the Sabbath and there was this woman just like this and Jesus looked with anger and said which of you having an ox having an animal bound on the Sabbath will not let that animal go how dare you let go of an ox on a Sabbath but this woman of Abraham being bound all these years should I not let her loose even though it's the Sabbath I have news for you my friend he heals on Saturday and on Sunday and on Monday and on Tuesday and on Wednesday and on Thursday and on Friday and he starts again next Saturday he heals in the morning, it, at the afternoon and in the evening. He heals in the middle of the night hours. He heals when you're asleep. And tonight, he is going to heal you too. Jesus. happening here there's miracles happening your prayer
presence. of you on wheelchairs come out of those wheelchairs in Jesus mighty name you're Jesus you are so glorious prepare in us your temple
1981 in the Navy when the hostages were in Iran flying on an aircraft carrier. His plane, when he got into it, caused an electrical, elect electrical shock in his body. It messed up his spine, messed up his body com in a major way. He could not function. He developed cancer. Watching the program, what day? May 26th, you healed me sitting on my Jesus, Jesus healed, healed me. Couldn't walk. Jesus, Jesus healed, healed me. me. Excuse me. He was watching the program. This is your day. Cancer. God healed him instantly. Tonight, degenerative disc because of the accident that Start he running, had. brother. Start running. Start there running. No Come pain. on. He came in a wheelchair. This is his wheelchair. Had to walk Come on, people. Give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. Pastor. He's Baptist. This Baptist became a Baptist tonight because the power of God. Missionary to the Philippines as a Baptist. And God blessed him and healed him God instantly. healed him tonight. Yes. Yeah. He was a missionary to, what is it? I was a missionary to the Philippines. What city? Supported to Baguio City. Planted a church over there working on my Masters of Divinity. Right after I graduated from Bethany Bible College in Scotts Valley, California, the Assemblies of God, I went directly to the Philippines, did, did a church plant there donated some blood. The doctors said, Larry, we can heal your professor here. And we know you got clean blood, but now you got problems that we got to deal with here. We have a, a uh, intestinal and viral infection that is closing off your tracheometry. You have Hodgkin's lymphoma. You have Lou Gehrig's disease. You have positive yeah, carcinoma. And God cured it on May 26th, brother. Thanks to you and your prayers and your word. And, and, tonight, and tonight, tonight, he was breathing. The Holy Spirit on me went through me like a fire. And the degenerative disc disease that I have documented in my wheelchair over here from the Veterans Administration of Loma Linda said that I have degenerative disc disease in the cervical five, cervical six, the lumbar four and five where I was electrocuted on the aircraft. It broke my neck, it broke my back. It do what you could not do, quickly. All the way over there. Give me a football and I'll kick it all the way to the grandstand. Dearest That's Jesus, dearest Jesus, I give you praise. He came People in this wheelchair. Give the Lord Almighty show. Pastor, he came in this wheelchair. He's healed in Jesus' name. Glory. God, I'm mighty anointing here. Henry, what's going on? Pastor. She was unable to hear 95% with her hearing aids. Tonight her ears opened up. She can hear, she said, for the first time in 20 years. 20 years you've not been able to hear perfectly. I had tendonitis and I wasn't able to hear at all without these hearing aids. I was completely deaf. You were completely deaf with which ear? In both ears, all the way across. Can you hear me? Yes. Hold my mic. Shut my mic. Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Come on, people. Give the Lord a mighty hand. I give you praise for the anointing. Ah. Oh. He's here right now. He is here. <sighs> Lady, what I'm feeling right now is so glorious. It's just so glorious. You don't need to beg. Mr. Brock. Pastor, this dear lady had to walk like this with this thing, lean on it because of the hip problem that she had, because of the arthritis. Power of God came upon her tonight. Now she can walk freely, walk up and down steps. She suffered in 1954 with polio. On, All people, of the pain is going out of her body. She says she's healed. I can't believe it. You can't got, believe it? I came for a healing and I know I got one, Pastor. I just think. You can't believe it's happened to you? I know, it, that's hard. Because I don't know why. I can believe it for other people, but not for myself. Walk down the stairs. I want to see. Come on. The Lord is so good, sweetheart. The Lord is so good. Look at that. Come on, give her a big God bless you. Bring her here, Brock. 
Pastor, she just said the best part of it is she's an old lady and God has touched her tonight. Six. You are 76? Yeah, and I had polio after both my children were born. And that was a year before salt vaccine, you know. And, and I had a good life. God blessed me all those years. For a year, I didn't walk. But then through my life, I became fine. And then now at my age, I can hardly walk and I'm in bed a lot. And I don't, I don't sleep without pain. And the pain is gone. It's gone. It's Jesus, gone. <laughs> Jesus. He is here. Let's celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is here, the Holy One. Let Him be adored. I, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time standing up myself, lady. Henry, that is a great Pastor, miracle. This is awesome. This young man. 13, 13 months ago, he injured his back. He had to lie back on his back all the time, sleep on his back. He's telling me he can move. He can unable to move. He said he can't believe wait, wait, he can wait, wait. move like How that. How did you injure your back? I hurt my back. I used to work as a server, uh, uh, as a busboy, and I hurt my back like um, 13 months ago. So now I feel better. You know, I had like I felt like a knife before in my back. So the, the pain is just going. I, You know, you'd be just as happy if God healed you like that. Now I can go back to the gym. Now I can go, now I can go back to the gym. <laughs> Touching Jesus, Marine. Thanks. Don't you just love the Holy Ghost? Sir. 15 years, fibromyalgia, Pastor. The power of God touched this lady tonight. All of the pain has Watch gone out of her body. She says the Lord has healed her completely. Fibromyalgia is a terrible disease. Debilitating and very painful. How long have you had it? 15 years. And two years, my lower back, it was very hard for me to stand, to sit down for a long time. And I've been standing and, and praising the Lord. And I'm so grateful to him because he has done so much and you are to me a spiritual father because you brought the knowledge of Christ to me and uh, I've been born again here I grew up Catholic and my actually my husband is a Catholic deacon for the church and we have been um, in church acting so that the Holy Spirit and all the healing powers would be returned and we want to ask Jesus to anoint us for ministry because we want to preach the gospel, the three of us, my son, my husband, and myself, and bring the glory to the Lord and bring the reward of his suffering. Master, thank you for healing this lady from fibromyalgia. But now I pray, use her, use her husband, use her son. Power of the Holy Ghost. Thanks. Lift your hands and bless Him. Lift your hands and thank Him. Henry, uh, Suzanne, honey, yeah. She had emphysema for 10 years and came out of the wheelchair tonight, totally free and is breathing freely. Emphysema, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I'm feeling a heavy anointing right this moment. I give you praise. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace and His grace. Lady, you had asthma for how long? Ten years. Breathe in. Again. Okay. One more time. Jesus. Never again. That's just like a breeze here. Shh. 
surely the presence. Mr. Brock. Pastor, 24 years ago, this lady fell. It caused a major problem in her back. She has had stenosis of her spine for 24 years, extremely painful in her back and in her lower back. This lady, Pastor, has suffered 24 years My God. of pain, My constant Lord. pain. Jesus. The medicine they gave her, she was allergic to. She broke out in rashes. She's been through hell, but the power of God has taken her to heaven tonight because every ounce of pain is out of her body. She's not suffering anymore. The Lord has made her free of pain in this house. Would you look at this face? Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I'm looking forward to this night to be healed. And tell us one more time about your sickness. I fell down and I had, and they took an MRI and they said I had deterioration on my spine and my uh, discs and the pain went down both legs and I have arthritis on my hands from all that and then um, my high blood pressure. What happened tonight? I, I felt like the fire on my back. Try something. Bend down, do something. No pain? No pain. The arthritis? No pain? No. Bless you. People just lift your hands and thank him for this. Young people! Young people! Come on, young people! Look at this, look at this. of Elijah declaring the word of the Lord and these are the days of your servant Moses righteousness being restored Lift your hands to heaven. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's 
Father, anoint these young people in Jesus' name. your young people in Southern California these are your young people and they do not belong to the devil they belong to Jesus look 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 at the anointing on this young man fire on you and ask him to touch you to fill you to anoint you come on young man come on young man come on young man pick him up come here ladies and gentlemen this is the fire of God that belongs to the young people of Southern California right here Fire on you, young man! Look, 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 look at the anointing. Look at the anointing. These are the days of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being re. 